Pop culture gal. That's me. I'm pop culture gal. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So we're one month away from the end of the year. Yes, goodbye 2020 at last. So for this occasion, I thought I would be doing the end of the year book tag. First question is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? Um, this big, big baby, so I guess first one I need to finish would be this one. Second question, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? Not really, no. I don't necessarily tend to read books uh, that are <laughs> agreeing with the season that I'm living. Um, just around Halloween is generally the time where I read a little bit of horror, but other than that, no. I do not have one big autumnal book to... I would say maybe Gods of Jade and Shadow because it deals with a bit of spooky vibe can be probably the... you know, the, the, the bridge from autumn to winter, but other than that, no. Third question, is there a new release you're still waiting for? <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. Uh, as you may or may not know, the Ember in the Ashes series uh, is ending in December. The fourth installment, which is the last one, will be coming out 1st of December or something like that. Uh, it comes out in English, so I'm hoping it comes out in French really soon after, because I've read the first three installment in French, and I think it would be weird to switch to English for the last one, but if it's too long then... And also my mom is reading it with me, so I kind of want to talk about it with her after reading it, probably. So yeah, this one is my biggest wait of the year. I started the series in 2020, after reading Priory. I love it so much. I can't wait to see how Sabata here will destroy me with this new book. Um, very, very eager to see what's, what's gonna happen. So yeah. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? If I had to pick three books I want to read by the end of the year, which I'm not currently reading, it would be uh, Black Sun, because I've heard so, so many good things about, and I've read two other books. Uh, I don't remember the names of the series, but two other books by Rebecca Hornhorst, and they are so, so good, so I'm really looking forward to reading Black Sun. Um, these two, uh, which are so. Poppy War, which is uh, very, very famous. <clears throat> I've heard so many people talk about it and everyone is praising it, so I'm really looking forward to reading it and I think I'm gonna try and read it in 2020. Uh, so I still have one month for that, so yay. And uh, Jade City, I think it's a fantasy also. Uh, it's apparently it's really good. So yeah, um, I would say Black Sun, Jade City, and Poppy War. I'm at least gonna try and read one of these three, maybe all three if I can. Very looking forward to it. Um, they're all fantasy book, the three of them. Yeah, Poppy War is apparently very intense. It's a trilogy. Jade City is also a series of book. Uh, I don't know how many there are. I think at least two. Five, is there is there a book you think it could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? Yes, probably. Um, from what I haven't read, I would say... For now, my favorite book of the year is Priory, uh, which will still always hold a special place in my heart. From what I've heard from Poppy War and Black Sun, I think maybe it could be... I don't want to uh, get too excited at first on it, because if you expect too much, like if I set my expectations too high, then I'm setting myself up for disappointment. But really, everyone is just saying they're absolutely amazing. So um, I really want to read Poppy War. Um, <laughs> I was thinking maybe delaying it to 2020, so probably we can <laughs> stay my favorite book of the year. And have you already started making reading plans for 2021? No, I read a lot. Uh, in 2020, mostly because I was unemployed and there was a quarantine, you know, there was a lockdown, so I was at home. So, so far, I have read, I'm figuring out my Goodreads, I have read 144 books in, in 2020. I was setting them for 52, like one book a week, but now I'm like way over that. So my goal for 2021 is at least one book a week, so 52. 
if I can get to 100, then yeah. I'm trying to, by the end of 2020, do 150 because it's only six books. And I think I can do it. So yeah, this is this was the book tag for the end of the year. Thank you for watching. See ya! Bye!